Now in this particular lesson, our focus is going to be on multi-pedal orchestrations and a man that needs no introduction. It's Thomas Lang. Within this series, I break down different ideas, specific drum parts and concepts from the best drummers in the business for all of you to learn. So I hope I can earn your subscription and that you dive further into my channel for more in-depth lessons. All right, let's take this opportunity to have a quick look at the mighty Thomas Lang do his thing. I mean, this man's feet alone have just directly inspired me to try new things and see what happens. So I guess what I'll do is play this pattern that I have for you at a higher tempo, and then I'll go ahead and break it right down for you and show you exactly what I'm doing. And I'm not going to overcomplicate things with this first one, all right? I'm simply playing eighth note triplets as single strokes on my double pedal, and then I'm moving my left foot between both pedals on my left side. Here is a quick example of how this sounds at our goal tempo of 140 beats per minute and during this demonstration keep your eye on my left foot. So let's start by learning this entire pattern without moving that left foot from one pedal to the other, as this will demonstrate how you can take a simple enough idea and just make it sound a lot more unique by making a slight adjustment with your feet. Um, I'm gonna be using my stack here throughout this lesson, but please use your ride cymbal or floor tom instead just to hold down that backbeat if you haven't got a stack. All right, here's exercise one on the PDF at a nice slow 65 BPM. So let's do that again, this time a little faster at 95 beats per minute. And it's at this point that you really wanna pay attention to getting those notes as consistent and as even as possible. It just means when you do go to make that switch with your left foot, that you're gonna feel as comfortable as possible. All right, here we go. All right, so now it's time to start moving that left foot between both pedals. Now, obviously the options are endless here and I encourage you to come up with your own ideas. But for now, let's work on this one that I've laid out for you specifically and begin playing it at a nice slow 65 beats per minute.
So I would highly recommend at this point, if you're comfortable doing that with me at 65 beats per minute, that you pause the lesson, turn on a metronome and start working your way up through the tempos five beats per minute at a time. But when you're ready, here it is. Let's do this together at 95 beats per minute. Okay, so if you've reached this point of the lesson and you're able to do that with me at 95 beats per minute, please don't stop there and begin to work your way up through the higher tempos at maybe 130, 140 BPM. You can also use this much like you would a foot ostinato and challenge yourself by playing various different patterns over the top. Now, when Thomas Lang does something like this, the ideas can get absolutely insane and we all love that, right? And you should never feel intimidated by that only inspired. Remember that what we're doing here is just taking the smallest percentage of what these musicians are physically capable of and we're injecting that into how we hear things and how we approach the kit. And so I'll finish up this lesson by giving you a quick demonstration of how this exercise sounds again, this time at our goal tempo of 140 beats per minute with the notation on screen. <laughs> 